Hello everyone and welcome back to the Barrow Motors YouTube channel and this will be the second episode of our car of the week. If you don't already know we have another YouTube channel called Shifting Metal as you can see by my t-shirt where we document life running Barrow Motors and life in the car trade in general and each week we pick out a car that I think is the best car that we've bought that week and for last week that happened to be this Mark VI Golf R because it's something a bit different something I haven't owned before and it would just be interesting to get an on the road review of this. So this is I think the first generation of the Golf R. It's a 2009, it's a two litre four cylinder engine with the Volkswagen four wheel drive system as well making 267 brake horsepower. It should be a very fun drive. We had an Audi A3 riding my bumper there. We can prove that it certainly does pick up very well. The really nice thing about this, despite I think a set of coilovers to have lowered this car slightly, it's in really nice original condition. So we've got the original exhaust, original airbox, all that sort of stuff. And being only 77,000 miles as well. Bit of a rare beast these days, I'd say. And being paired with a six speed manual gearbox as well. It's one of the last analog hot hatches really before they all changed to DSG gearboxes, big maps and 300 horsepower. And it does make it remarkably fun. I really like the styling on these as well because while it still looks sporty and aggressive it's not over the top it's still quite subtle and muted and to the people who appreciate their cars they will understand what it is. To those of a little bit of knowledge a bit of spot that this is sportier than your average Mark 6 Golf but to those without a clue and who are uninterested this isn't going to stand out and look like you've got something out of Max Power magazine still a very respectable German hatchback that would look great on any driveway. So some of the obvious standout features on this above your average Mark 6 Golf you've got this really nice flat bottom sports steering wheel with all your controls on here as well stitched in a nice perforated leather. You've got these bucket sports seats which actually even for me are still very comfortable but they are really supportive and sporty you really feel like you are tucked into that seat which you're going to need when you've got nearly 300 horsepower and a four-wheel drive system keeping you pinned to the road around the corners. You've got quite a nice, if slightly dated at this point, media system in the middle, which gives you your radio, auxiliary inputs, and all that sort of stuff, paired with a really good sound system, actually. The music in here does feel like a really good quality sound. You've got a really kind of nice, rich, full sound that surrounds you. So yeah, top marks for that. These Mark VI Golf R's seem to have held their value really well. And in fact, probably better than the Mark VII's, which is why this one priced at 12,000 pounds. may seem like it's only just behind the Mark VII's, but I think this one actually will hold its value, if not go up in value, especially being a nice example like this with the service history, with the nice mileage, and even down to still having the Volkswagen bottle opener in the cup holder. It really is a nice example, which is why I decided to buy this for stock at Barra Motors, despite it being slightly older than what we would normally like to keep. Plus, as any of you who do follow my main YouTube channel will know, I do love something a bit sporty and different. And this is definitely that. A few more facts and figures for you just to finish. 0 to 60, 6.9 seconds, very sprightly indeed. 12 months tax on this will set you back £385, which does sting a little bit, but that's largely down to the fact that it has got a four-wheel drive system. And if you do live in one of those cities that is plagued by the disease that is ULES, this car is compliant, so you could drive it without charge. I'm sure there is an absolute stack of facts and figures I have forgotten to include on this car. So if you want any more information on it or to see any more pictures, you can head to barramotors.co.uk 
where you'll find all the information in the description and another whole dedicated walk around video. If you're watching this video and you haven't already seen our other channel, you'll be able to find that in the description along with our Facebook and Instagram links as well. That will be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you next week with Car of the Week episode number three.